don't mind me just eating my grapes. Ooh! Oh! Scorpions? I don't want those. Like, how did that even get there? Those things are creepy. But today, we're gonna be talking about somebody who doesn't think that these scorpions are creepy because this person eats them for breakfast. Yeah, that's right. You heard me right. Unfortunately, this girl wants to suck up all their juices and become, uh... You know? We're looking at another My Story Animated. Link's gonna be in the description for their channel. But before we start, I need you all to smash like right now. I didn't make up the rules, guys. They're just here, so I guess you gotta do it. Also, if you're not subscribed already, why don't you wanna join the family? I really don't understand. I wanna be your family, but you don't wanna be my family, and oh, it just makes me sad, okay? So subscribe. Three, two, one, let's go. Most people eat toast or cereal for breakfast, but I'm not most people. I eat scorpions oh. for breakfast. You see, my brother had an accident. He was helping my dad fix the roof on our house, but then he fell. He hit his head really badly, and the doctors thought he would die, <gasps> but he survived. He banged his head so hard on the ground that he's now completely brain damaged. Dang, this brother's head is so messed up that he just threw in the towel and was like, yeah, my head's so messed up, I might as well just bang my head into everything and anything that I see. It can't get worse now, can it? It's hard for me to say this, but I don't feel safe around him. Right after it happened and he got discharged from the hospital, our parents went out to buy some groceries. They left me home alone with him, and I was listening to music in my room. Suddenly, I felt something sharp on my ankle, and when I looked down, <gasps> my brother was biting me. He bit so hard, he actually drew blood. Bro, 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 stop! That ain't no scorpion! That's not your breakfast! Oh, wait, it's the girl who eats the scorpions, not the brother. Oh, I'm so confused! I screamed, but he wouldn't let go. I eventually had to swing my leg back and forth so that he'd stop. It was like he'd become a wild animal. Mm. I told my parents about it as soon as they got home, and they shouted at me. They told me I was supposed to look after him and that it's not his fault, that it'll take time for him to go back to normal. Well, time passed and things just got worse. <gasps> uh -oh. I eventually installed a lock on my bedroom door because I'd woken up so many times to find him wandering <gasps> into my room. Loki, I feel like this brother has something against the sister and uh, he wants some bad things to happen to her. I mean, look at those eyes. Do you think those eyes are the kind of sweet eyes that somebody looks at someone in a loving way? Mm It freaked me out so much. Mm -hmm. It was so bad that my friends stopped coming over to hang out. They said my brother was terrifying. If only they knew. I'd lie in bed at <gasps> night listening to him screaming well, she's scared. and banging his fists on my wall. If I hadn't been so afraid, I'd have felt sorry for him. But then I'd look down at my ankle and Ooh. see the scar from the bite, and I realized I had to do something to protect myself. I suggested they move him to a facility for people with brain damage, and my dad said that if I didn't shut up, he'd put me in a facility. <gasps> Fine then. I'd only look out for myself then. Oh, if he hurt oh, them the too, then it was bad. their fault. One day, I was babysitting him, and he kept glaring at me. His eyes were rolling around. Oh, and man. Looked. This kid's eyes are rolling quicker than a wheel spin on a car. Just round and round and round and round until one day they just pop out. And then you got yourself a big problem. And I don't think you can solve that problem with a mechanic. We're talking more of a visit to the hospital and surgery kind of thing. Ooh. This had to end. I tried to distract myself by watching TV, and that's when a nature documentary caught my attention. It was about scorpions, Ew. specifically bark scorpions, eh. the most poisonous in the whole of the U.S. Their sting can lead to numbness and vomiting for up to 72 hours. Mm. I don't know why, but after watching the show, I couldn't stop thinking about it. What would it be like to be that poisonous? Probably super dangerous, life-threatening, not pleasant, terrible? But that's just my opinion. In that moment, I almost envied those scorpions. No one could hurt them. 
I started researching,、mm, and the next day、power. I went out to try and find one. I'd never seen one in real life before, but I knew exactly where I could find them. The show said they liked citrus trees, <laughs> and right down the road there was a citrus farm. I went there after school and asked the man who owned the farm if I could take a walk around. He seemed suspicious and asked me if I was planning on stealing his fruit. Yes, exactly, sir. That's the main reason that I'm here. I'm trying to set a world record by drinking the most amount of apple juice that anyone ever has in one minute, and my whole sneaky plan starts with you. Now cough 'em up. No, I just want to find some scorpions. Actually,、Ugh. he looked shocked. Even worse. Then he asked me to follow him. He led me to the back of a big shed and pointed towards a tank. Inside were dozens of scorpions. I couldn't believe it. I ran over and stuck my nose up against the glass. They looked so cool. Can I buy some? I asked him. Buy? <laughs> you can have them for free. <gasps> saves me killing them later. And also saves me from, you know, like, you know, these things can literally. You. So please take them off my hands. Go ahead. This girl is crazy. Saves me killing them later. Poisonous, nasty things that they are. He said that day was my lucky day. He put them into a shoebox for me and told me to be really careful because if they stung me, I could die. I walked home、Duh. with the box and found an old fish tank we had. I put them all in there. But、oh. as I was pouring them in, do we see how this girl is pouring in the scorpions? She has this big box of scorpions. She's like, yeah, if they sting me, I would. And she pours them on like they're all about to fall on her chest or something. Sweetie, you gotta pour the scorpions the same way that you cut with a knife. Away from you, not towards you. I'm just trying to help. Imagine one of those things getting stuck in her shirt, and then she'd be like shaking to try and get the thing out of her. And then the scorpion be holding on to her with his claws to try and hold on. And then boom, just like that. Scorpion stings you. Ooh, not fun. There, but as I was pouring them in, one of them got away. <gasps> Without even thinking, I jumped on it. Ooh, I heard the crunch sound <clears throat> and I shivered. <clears throat> and then I had another thought. I'd read that you could eat them. My parents weren't home yet, and my brother was at our grandma's. <gasps> so I went downstairs、oh! and poured some oil into a pan. Then I fried the scorpion and cut off its stinger.、Oh! I couldn't believe it. I was actually about to eat a scorpion. I even filmed myself. I could be famous. I thought it tasted like popcorn. I swallowed it in a few bites and waited to see if anything happened. But I felt fine. I decided to upload the video to my Instagram. I only had like 50 followers, but still. I only had like 50 followers, but uh, I could go viral from this. So I'm gonna do it. Oh no 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 no! Not the way to do it, guys. Not the way to do it. You don't have to be eating scorpions to be famous. Heck, you don't have to eat any kind of bugs, especially not the poisonous kind. And later that night, I decided to try something. I crept into my brother's room when he was already fast asleep.、Uh -oh. His toes were sticking out of the end of his bed. I bit down on his big toe and waited. It was just a little bite. I wanted to see if I was poisonous now, but instead, something worse happened. He kicked me in the face. My nose started bleeding. He didn't even know he'd done it. He was still asleep. So much for being poisonous. I just need to eat more and try again. Whoa, 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 whoa! If I'm getting this correctly, she wanted to test it on her brother to see if she was poisonous yet. Was she trying to? Her brother? Oh man, this story just keeps getting more twisted and twisted and. Ugh. Next morning, I woke up and I was actually craving scorpions.、Ooh. We had phys ed that day, and the show had said they were a good protein source. This time, I chose a smaller one. I was so scared my mom would walk in, so I did it as quickly as possible. But then I heard someone on the stairs. It was my brother. <gasps> oh no! I quickly turned the gas off and threw the <gasps> scorpion in my mouth. It was still moving, <gasps> and I was about to spit it out, but it was too late. <gasps> it was crawling down my throat. Oh, I felt like、oh、I was going to choke. Oh my god! Oh my god! I grabbed a glass of water and washed it down. Well, it was inside me now. There was nothing I could do about it. My brother spat his tongue out at me, and suddenly I grabbed him and told him to never do that again. <gasps> I'd never done that before, and it shocked me. 
I didn't know I was even capable of speaking to him like that. And then I bit him again. <gasps> this time he was awake and he felt it. His face started to go red and I was sure I poisoned him. And you were happy about it? Why she got some creepy smirk on her face right now? Like, yeah. And it was at that moment, guys, that I realized that I poisoned him. Sis, you got some issues. But instead, he started screaming and ran to wake up mom and dad. <laughs> well, at least he'd run away and not bitten me back. Maybe it was working after all. But oh my oh. gosh, I hadn't cut the stinger off. I mm. eaten a scorpion that was semi-raw and that still had its stinger on it. Now I was probably going to be vomiting. Suddenly, I had this weird feeling wash over me. It wasn't sickness though, it was power. Like I was the one in control now, uh -oh. not my brother. Maybe this was how I could protect myself. So that's why I started eating scorpions for breakfast every morning. It was too risky to cook them <sighs> in the kitchen, so I decided to just eat them raw. I mean, I'd had no bad side effects, although I always cut the stinger off. I'm not that stupid. I hate to break it to you, but you are that stupid. Did you forget just a couple days ago you did eat the stinger? You ate the whole freaking scorpion! Raw! Not a smart thing to do! Mm-mm-mm-mm! I ate a particularly big scorpion one morning, and then at school that day, I heard two girls whispering about my brother when I walked by. Even though my brother annoyed me, <laughs> it wasn't his fault. So I decided to get them back for this. The next day, I watched as they opened their lockers at exactly the same time. I'll never forget their screams. <gasps> they echoed through the corridor, and one of the scorpions actually looked like it was chasing them. <gasps> they laughed so hard. Although, it meant I'd wasted two of them. Oh well, plenty more where they came from. Can we all just take a second and think about that scorpion just walking down those hallways of the school? Just chilling. But he probably thinks he got a scholarship or something and it's his time to shine. But little did he know that he's actually just all a part of one big prank. And soon enough, his time is uh, gonna be cut to an end. Or should I say swallowed to an end? Ugh. It was crazy that I felt fine eating them. I actually enjoyed them. Some people were apparently allergic to their venom, so I was relieved I wasn't one of them. My favorite thing was to dip them in peanut butter. Their claws got all stuck together, and that way they wouldn't pinch my tongue. That night, when I got home, I found my brother in my room. I'd been so excited about taking the scorpions to school, I'd forgotten to put the lock back on my door. I caught him just as he was about to open my scorpion tank. I ran over and pulled him onto the ground. You ran over and pulled him onto the ground? Uh, sis, I just saw you give him a little one-two backhanded punch and buddy got KO'd. Is that just me? But it was too late. One of the scorpions was about to escape. <gasps> Before my brother could touch it, I grabbed it. And then I felt it. <gasps> it was worse than any pain I'd ever felt in my life. It started in the palm of my oh, hand no, and no, then it no, shot through no, my no. whole body. It had stung me. Maybe I was allergic after all. Oh no, I was going to die and my brother didn't even know how to call an ambulance. Oh no! I started screaming at him and he just laughed. And then just before I passed out, I saw him walking towards the tank. But he just laughed when he saw his sister get bitten by that scorpion? I feel like both his brother and sister just hate each other and uh, they both want each other. God! I woke up in the hospital, alone. My parents weren't even there. And then I looked over to my left, and there was my brother. But he was also lying in a hospital bed, and his eyes were closed. <gasps> my parents suddenly came in and saw me waking up and started crying. And then they started shouting. They asked why I had scorpions in my room. And then they told me that my brother had been stung by one too, and he was still unconscious. This was a disaster. Oh my gosh. All I'd wanted was to feel poisonous, and I'd ended up poisoning myself and my brother. You tried to poison him days ago, though. This is what I don't understand. Why are you trying to act all sad about it now? Girl, you lying. If he didn't survive, I'd never live with myself. I was feeling okay, so I decided to take a walk and get some fresh air. I saw some familiar faces walking towards me, and then I realized who they were. It was the two girls from school that I'd pranked, and their parents. Oh. They asked where my parents were. Then they went crazy. The one girl's dad started shouting at them, saying they were the most irresponsible parents on the planet, mm. and that I could have killed their daughter. Mm. I didn't understand how they'd known it was me who'd done it, and then I remembered the video I'd uploaded. Oh. Have you watched it? 
My parents just sat there speechless, gripping onto my brother's hands. Then one of the girls said, See, her brother is a total freak. I bet he ate a scorpion too, and that's why he's here. My mom stood up, and I thought she was going to grab the girl and shake her. But then she turned to me and said, You ate a what? Then the girls showed my mom the video, and my mom looked horrified. She started crying and wouldn't even look at me. After my parents apologized on my behalf and the girls and their parents left, I could hear my mom whispering to my dad, She's even more crazy than our son is. How did this happen? Call the doctor. I didn't even have time to grab my stuff and run out of there before a whole group of doctors cornered me and tied me to the bed. <gasps> then they wheeled me off to another part of the hospital. I was screaming the whole way there. Suddenly, I was in a room with no windows, and even the walls were padded. Did they think I was insane? I couldn't believe mm -hmm. it. How ironic. It was my brother who was insane, and I'd done this to protect myself, but now they thought it was me who was a lunatic. My video went viral. Everyone was so freaked mm -hmm. out by how excited I looked as I bit into that first scorpion I ever tasted. My brother eventually woke up, and he was okay, thankfully. My parents took him home, but they left me at the hospital. I spent a whole month in the psychiatric ward before they released me. Looks like my dad kept his word. He really did put me in a facility. At school now, it's not my brother people whisper about, it's me, and it's all my fault. I can't explain it, but I actually miss the taste of the scorpions. But I don't think I'm ready to eat another one anytime soon. Maybe next year. Dang! Oh my god, what a crazy story! Guys, a couple life lessons from this story. One, don't put anything on social media that you don't want people to see because uh, that stuff stays forever. Two, don't be judging someone so quickly because chances are you got some flaws of your own too. And I'm talking to you, scorpion eater. And life lesson three, the most important of all, is that I guess scorpions taste good? Uh, I don't know, but don't eat them, guys. No, seriously, like, don't eat them. Anyways, guys, that's all the video that I have for you today. If you like today's video, don't forget to smash that like button as hard as you freaking can. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.